Hey, welcome to All Our Production. This is Dwayne McKay, where we seek knowledge and share knowledge. Today, we're talking with Chef Lisa Kay, and she's going to talk about the Culinary Education Academy and a junior chef club that they started. Chef, can you explain the junior chef club? Yes, the um, Culinary Education Academy had um, started our Junior Chef Club maybe a little bit over a month and a half ago, which is com- comprised of youth ages 12 to 17 years old. And um, what we do is give them fun and training. It's a fun and training program where we have educational field trips. Um, they go to, go to different restaurants where we do an eat and critique. Um, Giving their honest opinion, um, not criticizing, because we definitely don't want to do that um, to any chefs, but giving their on- honest opinion, and they are also learning um, different flavors and the texture of their foods and things like that. Um, last week, we went to Kitchen and Cocktails. That was our very first restaurant. Um, of course, we didn't have cocktails. We had mocktails. And uh, one of the items that... Um, uh, so a couple of the uh, students had was the butter pecan waffles, and um, they probably had it with lobster. Some of them had it with shrimp, uh, but that is one of the items that I'm going to demo um, at our meeting. So I want the kids to, the kids, what they're going to be doing is after they have um, eaten at five different restaurants and have critiqued and um, gave their honest opinion, they don't know this yet, but they are going to um, choose one recipe, one um, um, entree that they have chosen, and they're going to recreate that. The same thing that we're, I'm going to be doing with the um, butter pecan waffles. Um, they're going to um, recreate that. When they go to different restaurants, they cannot order um, burgers and they cannot order chicken tenders. Now, if it comes with the chicken and waffles, that's fine, um, but they're only going to get one chance. But it's a great learning experience, and um, the, ch- the, the youth are enjoying it as of now we have uh seven um youth right now and we have three more that's going to be joining um us and um i'm just looking forward for a a great training experience now you also training for uh team competition in the future right Mm -hmm. yes so our team competitions our youth uh will be trained on competitions as well as um food safety and things like that so We want to challenge um, some of our um, other junior chef clubs out there, whether it's here in Milwaukee or in Madison or Chicago, but they will be trained on that as well to be sure that they are going to be winning these competitions. Now, the dish, because the junior chef had to earn points in order to move up to that next coat, right? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, a a few of the things that the um, junior chefs get when they become a member is a black chef coat. They get their hat, they get their chef coat, and um, thermometer, and things like that. Um, They will earn, have to earn their white chef coat, and we have a whole lot of different things for participation, um, uh, great attitude, as well as you know, uh, following the rules and regulations and um, being in full uniform, things like that, where they will be able to earn their patches. And once they have earned um, five patches, they will move up to their white coats. Now, one of the way they earn points is the dish you made. They have to go home and cook breakfast for their family, right? Exactly. That's one of the categories where they will have to um make breakfast, lunch, or dinner or something for their parents. And they and I would know that they did that because they're going to be taking pictures in between um, and they're going to be um, taking pictures of their finished product and they're going to be sending that to me or Chef Malaysia just for proof. And you, you said you're also training in food safety. That's dealing with... Uh the safety the serve safe, yes, the serve um, safe. because our junior chef will be shadowing chefs at different restaurants, and we want to be sure that they are ready. So they will be taking the food handler's um, um, uh, serve safe um, program. Now, Ed, we went to Kitchen and Cocktail over the weekend in Chicago. Mm-hmm. The kids critiqued the meal. The chef was very excited. 
to, to meet the kids. He was the head chef of Kitchen and Cocktail. They have three restaurants. I think one in Atlanta, one in Dallas, and one in Chicago mm-hmm. where we went. And the critique, the kids critiqued the meal, and the, the the chef was very excited that they critiqued the meal. What 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 kind of feedback did you get for the meals? Right, the the chef was very excited, and like I told him, I said when I called and let him know that we were bringing our youth, and he was very excited, very um, receptive to it. And um, but the students gave an honest opinion, and like I told them. We're not here to criticize, but we are here to critique and give our feedback. And um, I think um, the students were very honest. They um, didn't actually, we really didn't have any complaints, that really. Um, not complaints, but we really didn't have any um, um, threes. <laughs> oh. We have an, if, I, I feel that if you have a three, then there's room for Im- improvement. And we all know that there's room for improvement. But if you have a three, then it's something that you really need to um, check on. Well, it's from one to five, right? One to five. And I think the only complaint was that the shrimp was too salty. Mm-hmm. I, that was my dish, but I think that's something that can be adjusted in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, overall, I think Malaysia had a Oxtail, and she said she loved oh, that. Oh, those were so delicious. Oxtail and rice. Mm-hmm. Uh, Haven had the... As a matter of fact, Junior Chef Haven, I believe she had the lobster, the, the no. seafood um, omelet. Right. Which had um, lobster, can you, shrimp. Can you remember her critique? Oh, what, uh, she gave it a five. And she was very satisfied. So. Chef, junior Chef Roche had the. We had um, we had a couple of uh, junior chefs that had the, um, um, the, sh- the chicken and waffles, and then we had one that had the waffles, the lobster and waps- waffles. And she was very satisfied with the um, the lobster. She gave it a, a, a four plus. Um, she said cause it, it was getting ready to be a little bit overcooked, but not. It wasn't there yet. But, um, Overall, it was wonderful. So overall, you would go back and you would recommend people to go? Overall, I will definitely go back there. And I would highly recommend um, that if you're in Chicago, find Kitchen and Cocktails. What is the next, you know the next restaurant that y'all going to or you got, that's going to be announced? It's going to be announced. Okay. And we want Milwaukee to follow the next restaurant when we critique. Uh, we're going to have a following that uh, we're going to. Best, definitely, definitely get a recommendation to go to a restaurant or not. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. These chefs are like little uh, little critics, food little critics. Criti- they're little food critics, mm-hmm. and plus they're gonna they're gonna cook the foods, some of the food that they taste. Yes. They're gonna uh, try to imitate it. Yes, that's one of the things that they um, is going to be a must do, and we will invite our families out and some of our friends out to um, share in the um, meal as well, and then they can. They can um, eat and critique our junior chefs. Because you're going to make the caramel sauce at, at, at the demo, mm-hmm. and the kids got to re- uh, they got to repeat that and go cook it for their parents. Correct. But they'd be able it's to use the it. Butter, right. It's the butter pecan. The butter um, pecan waffles. sauce. Yes. Thank you, Chef. Lisa, anything else that you would like to add for the um, culinary education cat? What kind of fundraiser you got coming up for the? We have our pot pies going to be coming up, and I know that is one of our largest sellers. It's a really big seller, and uh, once we post that, get on it, order as many as you want. Um, they are very delicious, and we sell out every time. So we use, we're going to make 500 this time. We usually make 300, and we sell out um, Real quick, huh? Very quickly. And a, and a junior chef is going to be helping with that? Junior and... chef, that is one of the pro- their projects. So, yes, they will be um, overseeing that. What's the ages of the junior chef? Junior chef club ages are 12 to 17. And these are junior chefs. That These are junior chefs. They are they actually want to be chefs. So we have mm-hmm. some that want to be a, a, a chef, some want to be pastry chefs. But it's happening. All right. Thank you, Chef Lisa. You were very informative. And thank you for uh, uh, tuning in. Mm-hmm. This is uh, all our production where we seek knowledge and share knowledge. Thank you. Thank you for having me.